The surprising friendships of Harry Styles and James Corden. There are many bromances in Hollywood. Fallen and Timberlake, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill, etc. One bromance that seemed to develop quickly and doesn't get as much press is the friendship between Harry Styles and James Corden. In today's video, we'll walk you through the surprising friendship between the two. Stay tuned. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Harry Styles first crossed paths with James Corden early in his career. Thanks to the bandmate Louise Tomlinson, whose mom had worked on a British television program Corden started back in the 2000s, after Tomlinson got on X Factor, he reached out to Corden and brought Styles along to hang out. Styles also lived with the Late Night Champs future executive producer following One Direction's star music turning on X Factor. The bromance truly kicked into high gear in 2015 and has been going ever strong ever since. Just how close are they? Well, Styles was the one that Corden turned to when he needed to find a last minute replacement to host the late night show, as he and his wife Julie Carey welcomed their third child. Poking fun at his friends, Styles took the audience and he was just at the hospital before I came to fill in and she looks a lot like James, mainly because James looks like a giant baby. Despite the differences between the 27 year old heartthrob and the 42 year old funny man, the pair have frequently collaborated together on the late night show, which has only caused their friendship to grow. From jokes to lip locks, here are a look at the, some of the best moments of their long-running bromance. Style appears on the late night show for the first time. Less than a month after Zayn Malik announced that he had decided to quit One Direction, the band made their first appearance on Corden's late night show. We should talk about the fact that there are four of you now. Corden said before asking Styles if they had ever thought about replacing Zayn with a certain British-born American talk show personality with the voice of an angel, namely himself. No, Styles strictly answered. Not even for a split second, Corden replied jokingly pretended to be hurt. After Styles doubled down on the answer, Corden turned to the singer's bandmate Louis Tomlinson and said, you've always been my favorite. During the same visit, Corden also ripped Styles about the one time a fan threw a dildo during a concert that nearly hit him in the face. Not for the first time, eh, Harry, the host joked. Styles got a Corden-inspired tattoo. A few months later, the boys went on Corden's show again to talk about tattoos, specifically tattoos they regretted. Although Styles did, Say he didn't have any tattoos he regretted. He admitted, there's a couple I did myself that aren't very good. Like when he wrote big on my big toe. The band would then proceed to play a game with a TV host called Tattoo Roulette, in which a loser had to get the words late late permanently inked on their body during the television program. Fittingly, it was Styles who ended up getting the tattoo. After joking he wanted to put it on his chest, Styles ultimately fit the new tattoo into a cluster of existing inkings on his arm. Corden then gave a nod to Styles when appearing shirtless on the March 2016 cover of WSJ. Magazine, dotted in the sea of temporary tattoos that included knives, anchors, and butterflies. Here's my interview in at WSJ. It was Harry underscore Styles who inspired the look, he tweeted. The first carpool karaoke together. A week later, Styles started in the first carpool karaoke video with Corden alongside his four bandmates. Asked if anybody needed to wee, Styles raised his hand before being promptly told by Corden that he needed to hold it. Styles and Corden shared the stage at the Late Late Show for a week. In May 2017, Styles kicked off a week long residency with Corden on the Late Late Show. In addition to appearing in a variety of comedy segments, he also performed a new song from his solo album. During the fun-filled week, the British heartthrob, pretending to be a TV host, introduced Corden who dressed up as Styles, playfully calling him an incredible artist, narcissist, and one of my personal favorites. The jokes continued as Corden, wearing a Styles-inspired suit without a shirt underneath, said he was working on my pain and making my searing pop album. The week culminated in Styles performing his first solo carpool karaoke segment with Corden. The two shared a tender moment as Styles revealed that his favorite duet to belt out is Endless Love by Diana Ross and Lionel Richie. Styles makes a guest appearance on The Late Late Show to answer a phone call. In June 2017, while The Late Late Show was finishing up its three show residency in the UK, Styles made a guest appearance to answer a telephone call. As the prop phone on Corden's desk began to ring, Styles walked out and had a prolonged conversation before slyly telling the TV host that it was the wrong number. The longtime friends lock lips. Making his third carpool karaoke appearance in December, Styles took part in a special holiday edition of the popular segment. He also gave his longtime friend an extra special Christmas present, a kiss on the lips. I did not expect that for Christmas, Curtin said as the pair laughed in their seats. Styles steps in as a guest host as Corden and his wife welcome their new baby. Styles once revealed that he was only given two hours warning before stepping into his friend's shoes on the Late Late Show, as Corden welcomed the arrival of his third child. I was sitting at home two hours ago in this suit, obviously, he said. I got the call Jules was going into labor, so James naturally called the funniest man he knew. He obviously wasn't available. The former One Direction member also addressed his surprising kiss with Corden on Carpool Karaoke, which aired the night before, saying, I would like to take the opportunity to announce that we will also be having a baby. Carpool Karaoke 2019 The duo were again for a Carpool Karaoke as Harry's was on the rounds promoting his new album, Fine Lines in 2019. 
The time James was a driver and he taught Harry the art of the fake talk show host. He and Harry also stopped trafficking together as Harry performed a crosswalk concert. Gucci campaign video. Just recently, the pals started a Gucci campaign video together. You really can't fake chemistry like theirs. True bros. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any amazing video from us.